Today on Lucky Dog. Why are you shaking? Don't be scared. The submissive tendencies of one dachshund mix might be too hard to shake. You gotta build some confidence in you, buddy. Now, with a forever home hanging in the balance, Brandon seeks out a new approach and finds it in the paws of another trainer. Chaka is the secret weapon in the training from this point on. Good boy, Chaka. I'm Brandon McMillan, and I've dedicated my life to saving the lonely, unwanted dogs that are living without hope. My mission is to make sure these amazing animals find a purpose, a family, and a place to call home. Today, one dog will be saved and one family will have a new best friend. This is Lucky Dog. It's a picture-perfect day for training. Give me a down. If only Cobalt could keep his head in the game. Remember me? English Bulldogs have a reputation for being stubborn. But Brandon hopes to motivate Cobalt with a healthy dose of good old-fashioned puppy love. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. What do you want? Give me a sit. Good boy. That's a sit. It seems to do the trick. All right, Cobalt. Give me a down. Good boy. That's a down. Perfect. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I'm ringing and dinging here. I just got contacted by the West Valley Shelter, and they said they have a six-month-old Chihuahua Dachshund mix they found roaming the streets as a stray. They said he's extremely timid of just about everything, and unfortunately, timid dogs constantly get overlooked because they don't plant their face against the fence much like an outgoing dog would. Timid dogs generally stay back in the corner, hiding the shadows. And six-month-old Groot is content to do just that. Hey, little guy. Why are you shaking? Come here. Don't be scared. Come here. You're not going to hurt you. Come here. Let's do this slowly. Come here. Earning Groot's trust requires a gentle touch. There. Step one complete. Guess what step two is? Let's get you out of here. Come on. Sleepy head. See this? Back at the ranch, Brandon initiates step three. Fitting Groot with his red training collar. I got your big ears. You're looking good. Come on, let's go meet the pack. Morning, everyone. Morning, morning. Take a look around. You're safe here. Welcome to Lucky Dog Ranch. Go on. Go make friends. After some initial hesitation, Groot warms up to his new digs. And after scoping out the amenities and unwinding with the pack, it's time for his official assessment. Come on. Come on. Today I'll be assessing Groot on his knowledge of the seven common commands, which are sit, stay, down, come, off, heel, and no. Come here. Give me a sit. No, no, no. Come here. You'd like to crouch. I see that. The first thing I notice is Groot seems to be a little submissive. The second I ask him to do anything, he wanted to pancake his body down. And you don't jump on me, do you? I don't think you do, because hmm? you flatten out like a pancake. Everything I'm seeing out of him right now is basically inexperience. Show me a heel. Yeah, you do not know a heel. It's also indicative of his former life, one driven by survival. He was a stray, possibly for a good portion of his young life, which means he might have had a very bad experience of the world. Now we're seeing the repercussions of that life. Give me a stay. Yeah, you're too submissive, hmm? You're way too submissive. You gotta build some confidence in you, buddy. Hmm? But building that confidence requires laying some groundwork. In this case, acclimating Groot to a clicker. You gotta find this very easy. You ready? You ready? Look at that. Look at that. What was that sound? I generally find that clickers work really well with shelter dogs, especially with a dog like Groot. Having most likely had negative experiences with the human voice, the clicker becomes an important bridge in Groot's training. The clicker can do no harm. The clicker technically is a way to say good dog without saying good dog. Every time you hear it, oh my gosh, you get a treat. Once a dog is effectively trained on a clicker, the dog looks forward to it in their life. And in turn, we can start training. That training starts with the heel. 
a command especially vital for dogs like Groot, lacking experience on a leash. Now, since I'm about five and a half feet taller than Groot, I don't want to have to keep leaning over to give him a treat every time. So I'm going to use one of my favorite tools, the lure stick. I can treat him as he's walking, effectively teaching him the heel command more smoothly. Just a normal walk. But Groot prefers the snatch and go technique. Nope, that's not going to do it. Just walk. Nope, that's not normal either. A lot of stray dogs take food like this because stray dogs in general have to fight for food. They don't get fed in the bowl at 5 o'clock every day. Guaranteed group came from that lifestyle. And making the transition to a home requires manners. He's learned through trial and error. If he fights for food, he gets it. Where now he's living in a world where when he doesn't fight for food, he'll get it. Brandon anchors Groot with a double leash lockoff, rewarding him only when he shows control. No lunging. Yeah, I know. There you go. Good, good, good. OK, look at that. Much better, right? Good. But even though Groot makes headway on his lunging habit, he still lacks confidence on a leash. He only wants to take two or three steps before he shuts down. In fact, the longer we were working on this, the fewer steps he was taking. So from there, I decided to simply end the session. I'm not going to force him to do anything that he's not confident with yet. I get it. All right. It's time to change my tactics and make a new plan. Coming up, Brandon's found a potential home. But could sibling rivalry jeopardize the adoption? Go ahead and release Chaka. Puppies approach the world with curiosity and a sense of wondrous adventure. Give me a heel. Because they lack the ingrained bad habits of older dogs, they tend to be easier to train. But life on the streets has already left six-month-old Groot overly submissive. Progress has proven elusive, and finding a sensitive and patient home could pose an even larger challenge. Luckily, Brandon already has a lead. I've been emailing back and forth with a couple, Desiree and Toby, and it seems like they'd be a great fit for Groot, but the only way to know for sure is get him to the ranch and get to know him a little better. My name is Desiree. Me and my husband, Toby, live in Westlake Village with our dog, Chaka. Chaka is basically like my baby. I'm mommy, and then like Toby is daddy. Desiree is infatuated with dogs. She treats them as they are her kids. So who's this little guy? This is Chaka. And what's he like? Chaka is very playful. He loves other dogs, and he basically just wants to play with everyone he sees. Uh, he's much more of a type A personality. Mm -hmm. So why exactly do you want another dog right now? We just recently moved out. Our previous roommates had two animals and two kids. And so now that we're moved out, he doesn't have that type of interaction. Chaka being socially dependent, uh, it gets to a point to where when we leave home, he, he cries and cries, and uh, there's no satisfying him. So we feel that getting another family member will help remedy that. Yeah, and he's so happy, like, when we take him to the dog park. Like, he, he would live at the dog park if he could, because he just has so much fun there. And so, I mean, seeing how he is there, it'd be good to have that for him at home all the time. Are you both really active with him? Absolutely. Yeah, we try to do something, you know, at least every weekend, hiking, beach, dog park. Date nights as well. You know, we'll, we'll take him and we'll sit to on like the, the patio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I assume if you got a new dog in the mix, you'd incorporate him in these activities. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Well, I got to say, the dog that I do have in mind for both of you, he does fit your profile of exactly what you're looking for. The only problem is he's still a work in progress. He's a little bit timid, and he lacks a lot of confidence. There's no telling how long the training is going to take from here on out. It might take a few more days. It might take a few weeks. It's all up to him. But the thing I do want to find out right now is, will Groot and Chaka get along? Having a male and female dog together generally increases your odds that they're going to get along. Two males can be a little tricky. So as you can see, he's a work in progress. So we got a long way to go. Go ahead and release Chaka. Suddenly, Groot came out of his shell, completely out. They were like two peas in a pod. I'd never seen a brotherhood form so quickly. I've never seen Groot like this. What do you think, Groot? I've never seen a dog play with Chaka like this. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw that, that's what gave me the idea of how I was going to train Groot. Let me ask you something. Would you be opposed to Chaka staying here for a few days at the ranch? It's for Groot's training. If you could leave him here, it'd be perfect. 
I immediately was thinking, no, I can't let Chaka go. But I know that when it comes down to it, it'll be better for Chaka, it'll be better for Groot, and it'll probably actually be good for me to like let go of some of my separation anxiety issues with him. I think they're gonna keep each other busy for a few days. Yeah, I, I don't agree. think he's gonna mind that we're leaving him. <laughs> All right, I'll walk you guys out. Okay. All right, great. Coming up, Brandon enlists some extra help. Good boy, Shaka. Good. Show him what to do. There you go. When Lucky Dog returns. If you are 18 or older looking to adopt a dog in the L.A. area and want to be on the show, write to us at cbsluckydog at gmail.com. Tell us why, and you might be selected. Three days ago, Brandon rescued Groot, a demure dachshund mix with a submissive streak. But all that changed yesterday when potential owners Toby and Desiree stopped by the ranch and brought their dog, Chaka. Once he met Chaka, suddenly his ears perked up. A new life came over Groot. Now he was eager to learn. Chaka is the secret weapon in the training from this point on. Both you guys, come on. To take advantage of Chaka's influence, Brandon relies on a simple game of follow the leader. Move those little legs. There you go, there you go. A technique known as daisy chaining. The daisy chain is where I tether them together on about a two foot leash. Anywhere Chaka goes, Groot has to follow Chaka. Follow his lead, trust me. In this case, I train Chaka, and in turn, Chaka trains Groot. Trust me, he knows what he's doing. See? The second I hooked them up together, there was absolutely no resistance. Chaka was walking all over the place as if he didn't even notice that Groot was daisy chained to him. And Groot relishes his wingman status. If Groot sees that Chaka's okay with something, most likely Groot will be okay with it too. Good boy, Chaka. Good. Show him what to do. There you go. Now he has a big brother to look up to. Trust me, he'll teach you a lot more than I can right now. And over the next few days, Chaka does just that. Everything Chaka did, Groot followed. Whether it was walking, training, eating, sleeping, this was slowly building Groot's confidence and eliminating any reservations he might have had before. Before long, this dynamic duo is navigating life at the ranch in perfect synchronicity. But extending that bond to social situations is equally important. Toby and Desiree, they want to be able to bring their dog everywhere, whether it's to the mall, to the bookstore, or even to go eat. So today, I'm going to a restaurant to acclimate Groot to that type of environment. Come on, this way, this way, come on. Good, 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 good. It's an intimidating setting fraught with swinging doors, sliding chairs, and crowds of people. But remarkably, Groot keeps his cool, a testament to Chaka. All the things that would have scared him before didn't even phase him now. Are you bred two pets? Yeah. He's learning to face his fears. He's showing a lot of progress, but he's still daisy chained to Chaka. The big question is, how will he do on his own? Coming up, the tandem training is over. But is Groot ready to step out on his own? We're through it. Come on. Here's a health and wellness tip from Banfield Pet Hospital. If you're planning to introduce a new puppy into a household with an existing pet, consider these tips to help ensure a smooth transition. Always introduce your pets in a neutral territory. Provide adult supervision during all animal interactions. To limit rivalry, make sure that each dog has its own bed, food, bowls, and toys. And finally, to minimize jealousy, make sure that each pet gets plenty of individual attention. For the last few days, Groot has been getting a crash course in confidence from guest lecturer Chaka. Chaka has shown him the ropes, but now that Groot's confidence is finally soaring, it's time to remove the ropes altogether. It's time to train him on his seven common commands. Come here. Give me a sit. There you go. That's a sit. No more pancaking. No more pancaking. We're over those days. Over and over, he sat like a champion. What happened, huh? Mm, you got some courage. From there, I went to the down command. Give me a down. All the way. Good, there you go, that's a down, that's a down, good. Next, I went ahead to the heel command. This was a command that I had a lot of problems with the first time I tried training it. Now when I said the word heel, he was front row and center. There you go, good, that's a heel. When I saw that, it told me that Chaka had done his job. Stay. Chaka's influence is immediately felt with all seven common commands. But would it translate to social situations? 
Today I'm going back to the same restaurant to see how Groot reacts to situations without the help of Chaka. When we first walked in, he was a little bit hesitant. Come on, hey, come on, all the way, all the way. Two things ran through my mind. One was maybe he's just not ready yet. And the second was maybe the technique just doesn't work on him. But then he worked through his own anxiety and got through it. We sat down at a table and Groot, he sat right next to me. He wasn't nervous at all, he wasn't anxious. He was calm, cool, collected. And then the waitress asked if she could pet him. He actually looked very comfortable. Groot did very well today, but the restaurant was technically a very tame environment. Time to take it to the next level and see what he can really handle. Coming up, sparks fly as Groot faces his final challenge. After spending the first six months of his life surviving on the streets, Groot is hoping to spend the rest of it in a forever home. Today, he'll get that chance. When I first rescued Groot, he was timid, he wasn't confident, he was basically inexperienced. But with Chaka's leadership, Groot has really come out of his shell. Now comes the real test. Come on, come on. Hey! Come on. Hey, guys. Hi. Hi, Hi Chaka. Hi, Groot. Hey, pup. Do you remember when you first met Groot a few days ago, how timid he was? He was lacking confidence, he was pretty much inexperienced. I noticed the moment Groot met Chaka, he was looking to Chaka for leadership. That's when the idea clicked in my head. The technique is called daisy chaining. Technically, it's a leader process that goes down the line. I'm leading Chaka, Chaka in turn's leading Groot. We walked around town, we faced every possible situation. Groot in turn now has gotten over pretty much all of his fear. He's much more confident and stable in what used to be stressful environments. That brings me to why we're here. This right here is a very unorthodox environment. If you look around, everything's loud, everything's chaotic. If a dog like Groot can get over his fear in situations like this, the rest of the world is a breeze. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk him around once together, and then from there I'll bring Chaka back to you, and then Groot and I will walk around together. In turn, I'll show you the power of what this daisy chaining has done to Groot. Sounds good. All right, guys, come on. So I walked them both around the entire facility, showing them each and every object, so there's no surprises. Big, scary objects, loud objects. As a united front, Chaka and Groot take it all in stride. But now it's time for Groot to prove to me that he can stand on his own four paws. The first thing I notice about Groot as he's walking is he's much more confident now. He's a whole different dog, but not more than 20 feet away, there's a table saw going off. It's loud. It looks and sounds much different than just about anything he'll ever see in the streets. And what does Groot do? He simply holds his head high and walks right by it. I was stunned that Groot was able to walk around all by himself. It was kind of like a father moment there. It was like, yes, that's my boy. All right. Good job, Good job Groot. Not bad for a little guy, huh? Yeah. I'm proud of Groot, but I'm also proud of Chaka, being able to take him under his wing and kind of mentor him. Oh, kisses. <laughs> With Groot having passed his ultimate test, this band of brothers is officially tethered for life. Here, oh. do you want that? Yay, good oh, job. Good job. <laughs> this is all yours. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh good. You got a new brother. Is your brother? I'm so excited to bring Groot home, and I think he'll have a wonderful life. So long, Groot. When I first rescued Groot, the dog I met was timid. He was inexperienced. But through a simple training technique, now he understands how to face situations, how to face his fears. The days of Groot backing away from a situation are long gone. Bye. See you, bye, bye. See you for my brother. <laughs> <laughs> from hopeless to a home. That's my mission, one dog at a time.